Welcome back, sane, reasonable people of the planet. Peach Bottom could have very well been responsible for the two-headed snake video that I shared with you a couple days ago. Here's through Mile Island. I was speculating that probably some of the fallout from the Mile Island went up in these mountains over here. And eventually some of those streamed out down to Washington to the Potomac. And guess what? Now we have a situation at Peach Bottom that they admitted to an accident. Now Peach Bottom has a river. It seems like it flows into this bay here and it just flows right back down the side here and splashing up into Washington and you know our finest uh, lieutenant officers in Annapolis College are getting some Peach Bottom rads and your president here Donald Trump's getting hit with Peach Bottom but nobody's informing the president uh, oh, oh we have an accident and we're kind of close to Peach Bottom Donald Trump what you gonna do Trump I see Peach Bottom. It looks like a Fukushima clone, for real. This was started in 1973. The license expired in 2003, and they just give it a 30-year lease. And this is a boiling water reactor, Mark One General Electric. And it's, it looks like it, this was like a Fukushima. Washington D.C. is downriver, as well as Baltimore. The two-headed snake. Is like our dysfunctional government, always looking sideways instead of what's needed ahead. Pennsylvania, Unit 3, we've hit rock bottom. GE Mach 1 boiling reactor, a Fukushima clone. NRC notified by Samish Patel, accident mitigation. Plant shutdown required by technical specification. Degraded condition. High pressure coolant injection system inoperable. Peach Bottom Atomic Power Station Unit 3 declared the high pressure coolant injection system inoperable. Differential pressure indicating switch. The DPIS is used to isolate the high pressure coolant system. Operations declared high pressure coolant system inoperable. HPCI is a single train system. Therefore, per NUREG, 1022 this condition is being reported as a condition that could prevent the fulfillment of a safety function a system required to mitigate the consequences of a design event this condition has been entered into the corrective action program update as of 922 Reactor coolant system pressure boundary leakage was identified as a cause of the high steam flow indication issue, so they say. Technical specification was entered which will require the initiation of a nuclear plant shutdown. This indicates a degradation of a principal safety barrier. Current Unit 3 reactor power is at 35%. This condition is being reported pursuant to CFR 50. The condition is being tracked in corrective action program. Peach Bottom will be notifying state and local agencies regarding the event. Among the incidents cited by the NRC, security guards were overworked. One guard was found asleep on the job. 36,000 gallons of radioactive water leaked into the Susquehanna River. Petco, almost sounds like TEPCO, right? Like Petco? P-E-C-O, Petco misled data on radioactive waste classification, causing misclassification of a waste shipment and a major fire occurred in the maintenance cage of Unit 3 Turbine Building. NRC Chairman Lando Zeck told senior management officials of Petco, Your operators certainly made mistakes, no question about that. So they made plenty of mistakes a long time ago. I did track down a video about 10 miles south of Peach Bottom, just so you get an idea of a webcam. Each bottom is right on the edge of Pennsylvania. They like to put these reactors on the the border of their state because nobody wants them in their state. So they put it on the border. So if you live on the border 
of a state, that's where you kind of get effed over, pardon my French. But that's where a lot of these reactors, dirty waste companies will end up. A little bit below Lancaster, and then they have a river that flows right into this bay here, and it washes up all over Maryland, Washington, D.C.